Why spend $110 on a jersey when you can buy them for $35 at courtsideplug.com? All sports available, worldwide shipping, link in the description. We talk about the crowd. Rick Carlisle in the pregame show with Jeremiah Johnson. Talk about it. I'm looking around the building. It's April the 7th. A team that's not in the playoffs playing a team that's not in the playoffs. Yeah, Mather made a good choice. He didn't force that shot. Reset, reload, knee Smith for three. Take advantage of that use. But you got to have a body that can take the crack you're going to get going to the basket sometimes. Ivy goes inside. Doran puts it in. Ivy has really gotten better control of his game. Pacers with the early eight-point lead. Yeah, I saw it was interesting because Nimhart was telling Ward to run. And he started to run. That's some defense there. That's enough for, yeah, that's enough for Casey to call the timeout. I know, like I said, I know I can shoot. You know, I know I was able to get to I know I was able to get downhill. I know I was able to, you know, play in the post, but just doing all that consistently. Now I'm making reads. Teams are going to start to Yeah, you are. Me. Well, the man I am today is, you know, it's because of my parents. You know, my little sister, the guys, um, you know, take the village. That's what they talk about a lot. And it's a village to get me here. Yeah, that was my village right there. You know, every day we know what's going to be when we get here and uh, come over to practice. And um, he's very uh, keen on his principles. And uh, this is, oh, my. I know y'all saw that. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah. And we wanted to finish there. <laughs> um, but, no, nah, speaking just to, uh, you know, what I've seen this year personally, um, you look at the top deck over there by the Kroger yeah. Sky deck, and this yeah. is just, it's just filled out every single game. Bring up a great point. Defensively, it's definitely our next biggest jump. Something we've already talked about, you know, as a unit. And something I think Rick has challenged. You know, really, the whole coach has challenged us to go into the offseason with that mindset. I mean, <laughs> oh, excuse me, fellas. As a basketball player, I feel like a lot of us are – <laughs> wire to put the ball in here, yeah. right? And then there's times where if you don't get a couple touches or you don't see the ball go down, and I have to play, uh, play my role as far as being a super on the floor and off the floor. You know, a lot of people look up to us and uh, if they can see people at the highest level getting back yeah. what they have and the force they come into. This is the alternate broadcast. Oh, this is the alternate broadcast. <laughs> okay. Anything uh, you want to say to the fans? I, see you, you know, I just, just, uh, I just want to thank the fans for being patient. Man. I feel like. You look at where we were at this time last year. 37 from three, all career best numbers for number 33, Miles Turner, spending the first quarter with us here in downtown Indianapolis. The final six seconds. Buddy Beheim is in. Ivy, Corey Joseph, and Ivy lets it fly again. Yeah, he's, he's, he really has found um, the, the range there, and he's got, obviously gotten some strength. Ivy missed everything, lands in the hands of Jared Roden. And now Joseph gets the rebound. Pacers gave up those points to some pretty good teams. Boston, Milwaukee, Philadelphia. Here's Heel, drives, and got it. He beat Bayheim to the basket. In offense, you have a pretty good feel of what you're doing. Everything kind of flows because it's instinctive. So that's a, the, the difference. And, it, and what happened, and I thought at the end of the year, Chris. It's hard to judge some of the numbers from 10 years ago to now, but we would agree when you give up 130-plus, hard to win. Uh, Chris, for me, I didn't even go back 10 years. Pacers won here back in October. Then the two teams split a pair of games. Back-to-back -back games in Detroit. That's another basket by Rote. That's the NBA versus just basketball. Bagley, Killian Hayes, and he launches and hits another three. He had two double-doubles. Asking for Isaiah Jackson to check in coming up. Probably to get James Johnson. And Nemhard with the basket. Now Matherin and Roden took it. And now Ivy with a windmill. Tyrese Halliburton and Buddy Heald in Sacramento came over last year in a trade from Sacramento. He was a second round pick. I mean, I'm sorry, a second pick in the draft. B. Smith finds Nemhard. Nemhard guarded by Hampton. Hampton started his career in Denver. Detroit got him after he was waived by Orlando. And Nemhard has eight. Detroit led 35-27 after a quarter right there. Just what you're talking yeah, yeah, about. I'm telling you, that's really what's going to make him hard to play. Detroit shooting 62% from the field. Offensive rebound, Jackson. Might have got a little carried away with the meals. You know, you go home and you get that home-cooked meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. 
Jackson fights for it, got it, and they'll count it and a foul. They were, they were thrilled to have him around, but you, you're, you're thrilled for the continuity because that becomes important. Because one of the things that I think this is what, what you, you start to see develop here. Um, because that's the best way, you know, for, for you to develop it, if you will, that continuity. Here's Laura with his second dunk of the night. Yeah, we, we like the first one. Yeah. Longtime EVS replay operator is retiring. This is his final game. And when you think about continuity and you think about it on the floor, what you see. E. Smith reloads. And Wara got the offensive rebound. Yeah, he actually he rebounded the miscare the miscapture. Because not, not I mean a lot of our fans don't know much about it. And I, I don't think many people in the league know a whole lot about it. He's got a chance to be a good, solid center. Detroit's trying to do is give Weissman time on the floor. Jackson ate that one up. And now Matherin lays it in the other way. I looked at Ivory, and he's talking about gold to load management is, is, is well, I would say, not desirable. The reality is, if, if you're injured and you come back, and particularly with soft tissue, he being <laughs> Weissman. Well, he must have some of those new, you know, these new shoes that you can walk around in. Because you notice he had not been quite as productive of late. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's made your time. This Roden's having a night. Yeah, when you're that good a shooter, though, you can't let that bother you. I'm a discontinued dribble. And Ivy down the lane. Yeah, because he read Wara coming from the weak side to try to help on the inside. Three minutes to play, third quarter. And now York, his first of the night. I'll tell you what that was. That was James Johnson getting, getting York a shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't defend. Yes, she has. She's been terrific. Keeps us in gear, keep you on those promos. That's right. And been kind enough tonight. Final 20 plus seconds. Hayes in the corner to Hampton. Now to Joseph. And Corey Joseph, as he's done all year yeah. against his former team, has made three. Same five that ended the quarter. Roden misses, rebounded by Heal. This is the first time I've seen the ball advance up the court quickly. You see what you get with it? That defense is all the way flat. He's got 12. He's hit a couple of threes here. And the Pacers get the basket. Nice one by Jackson with the pass. Was even better. 99-95 Detroit. Hampton off the glass. RJ Hampton. Ivy against Matherin. It's too strong. Jackson the rebound. George Hill front four. He goes to the glass. When there were like three, <laughs> yeah. sometimes six, maybe eight taken in a game. So this is guarded by Matherin with help from Heal. Shot clock at six. Joseph at the feet of Ivy. He did it on the board. I knew he'd get it on the board. I thought it was important to share that little tidbit. You know, 10 of the last 11 games, opponents have scored at least 20 points off Indiana turnover. That's the guy you got to take a hard look at him. Ivy gets inside out to Corey Joseph. Guess who? But we'll also celebrate here the fans of, of, of Indianapolis. Yes. Because I mean, that's really what this is about. Appreciating the fact, to your point, the, and part of the reason I, can, I think we'll agree, that's why it went so fast. Yeah. Because we were at the point, we are just enjoying it before you know. And he's going to lob it up, and it's off the rim, and that's it. In the final.